Welcome to the Marty Shigold Show podcast. Fit Chemist Warehouse. Get big brand vitamins and cosmetics at half price right now. Terms and conditions supply. Chemist Warehouse. Great savings every day. From the Triple M Studios. Wait for it. This is the Marty Shigold Show. Here we go. G'day, Shigzy. Oh, that was our best. That was almost the best. It probably was yeah, the best. Yeah, that. Someone was Someone a bit was late. I think yeah. it was, uh, I, I think one it was one Matt. of those people. Matt. Look, he, look how guilty he looked. Yeah, yeah after his guilty. shocking performance yesterday on Lauren's little quiz. I know. Oh, <laughs> terrible. That was really bad. Well, that was a disaster oh, I, for you, Matt. It's very stressful. We yeah, noticed. I yeah, yeah, I it noticed how stressed you were. Mm. And Will's had all these weeks of practice. Uh, I've got and like, practice. Yeah. Will's very good. He's very good. Top six at six coming in. Oh, the Bon Mott's. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Choice morsels. Choice morsels. Tiny tiles. Appetizers. Uh, appetizers. <laughs> I like Aperitifs. Hors d'oeuvres. Finger food. Yeah. Finger food's fun. Ooh. I love a finger food function. Hors d'oeuvre. Hors d'oeuvre. <laughs> if you offer me sitting at a table or milling with quality finger food, mm. yes, I'll you're... take quality finger food. Yeah. Do you like those when you even get the little fish and chips that you have to sort of eat with too a much. fork? Too I know, much. that's too much. Yeah. Even I... a slider is too much for me. Mm, depends if you can shove the whole thing in your mouth. Oh, you can get a full slider in your mouth easily. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> What's his name? <laughs> Do you mean Phil Slider? <laughs> Phil. Phil Slider. Your, your go-to name. It Phil is Slider. Slider. Oh, Phil Slider. I went to school with him. Get all him in my mouth. <laughs> Reporting for duty. <laughs> Number one, the top six at six. Lentil as anything founder hits back at claims he mm. misused funds. Anything about no. that. Lentils Anything is like a charity pay-as-you-feel uh, chain of restaurants. Okay. Oh, yes, I've heard yeah. about that, yeah. And you can pay nothing or you can pay $10 or whatever you Right. Can. Misused yeah. funds, potentially. Yeah. yeah. That's the allegation. Mm. Number two, Melbourne Victory fans given chance to buy a steak in the A-League club. That's interesting. Yeah, I saw this headline and I hadn't seen the story. So right. That's... Okay. That would be new for the A-League. Bon Mott. Yeah. yeah. Number three, Ellen DeGeneres to end her talk show after 19 yeah. seasons as ratings have plummeted. They think she'll make an announcement possibly today. That is big news. Mm, yeah. I was not aware of that at all. Huge. Well, that's what happens when you're a bit of a turd at work. Well, yeah. yeah. And then word gets out. And complaining about being in your big mansion. Oh, yeah. how tough life was. she was in prison she for the yeah. pandemic. She herself swept all of these things. She came out and was like, oh, yeah, I have bad days. But some of the things that people were saying. Is beyond bad was, days. Yeah, yeah. It's come a on, It's a culture Ellen. issue. That's right. Yeah, no, she's really tarnished her legacy with her appalling behaviour around the workplace. Yeah. Sure, has. that's the allegation. Mm. Uh, number four, Australia buys 25 million Moderna vaccine doses. Mm. When are they here? 2025, <laughs> mate. Hunt has to go. And Scott Morrison <laughs> must go. Number five, ScoMo says preparing for war with China is doing his job. <laughs> well, Please don't go to war with China, no, ScoMo, no. if you, you can avoid it. Yeah. How do you reckon we'd go? We will lose. <laughs> one not one well. with China. Let's not take on oh. China. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon that, that war would last about 17 minutes. You reckon? Oh. You'd be lined up down at Brighton Beach going, come, oh. pick me. <laughs> I'll come to China. That's so scary. <laughs> Amateur chef at number six sparks outrage after sharing viral hack for making large batch of spaghetti without worrying about dishes by mixing it all together on her kitchen counter. Oh, oh yeah. gross! Millions of views. This yeah. just what the, the sauce and the and the and the uh, pasta just plonking yep. it on Parmesan. On your bench. Oh, yeah. oh no, but no, it would get yeah. cold. Oh, but just <laughs> the lots of not to mention the height. On the bed. I'm disease. not worried about the temperature of it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. For KO, Sport Lives Here. You can stream over 50 sports live and on demand if you're new to KO. Start your 14-day free trial. KO. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. O. Yes. O. Yes. Yes. O. Yes. O. K-O. Thank you, KO. Mm. What do you got, Will? Absolutely yes O. Uh, Lauren, yes. Matt, Troy, oh, Marty. Morning. No. Doing the rounds. <laughs> morning. I was like, morning, please Will. don't ask me a sports question. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun one morning, though. <laughs> Just spring one on you. Following the weekend's altercation between Tigers duo Shai Bolton and Daniel Rioli with the public yes. at Melbourne's CBD nightclub Yo-Yo, Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo. Patrick Dangerfield, the Geelong superstar and AFLPA president, he's spoken on SEN and he's said some interesting comments about what it's like being a football player at mm-hmm. a nightclub. Mm-hmm. The challenges are, especially when you go out and you're 
you know, you're letting your hair down after a stressful week or whatever it might be, is that you're dealing with kids that pull out their phones at a nightclub and are just trying to film something to put on social media. So it would be pretty frustrating as an AFL yes. player. Yes. Well, you're part, you, 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 it's different to just being a, an everyday person in the media Yeah. because you're playing a contact sport. Mm. People assume you're tough and hard and they start to bait you and mm. then suddenly you're, you're, in, you're in it. And you're so high profile as well yeah. in the city. Hugely high profile. Speaking on the midweek rub yesterday, oh, Joey Montana. Is this the loaf or the tug? Which one's this? <laughs> it's the rub. <laughs> Pinch one off. <laughs> And Joey Montana <laughs> was telling a story about our friend of the show, the Nick ropes. Rewalt. <laughs> <laughs> Which one's this? This is the rub. It's the not rub. a tug. The rub and tug? <laughs> no. That rub. Oh, just the rub. That rub, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't no, know the, this one. The tug's on a Friday. You need to. Uh, <laughs> you need to <laughs> a Friday arvo. And Joey Montagna <laughs> was speaking about being out on the town once with our friend of the show, Nick Rewalt. Yes. And there was a table next to them. Of guys literally just pelting ice. Oh, that's oh, ridiculous. at Ruiz. Yeah, and so that's the sort of thing that players have to deal with. Well, so. you got. But the thing is, and I know this is easy to say when you're 50, you just have to get up and leave. Yeah, and that was my point earlier in the week about these young guys. I get that your girlfriend's been offended. I don't know the ins and outs of it. I know yeah. you feel awful about it all. But everybody, let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the way forward in the future. Mm. But uh, mm. best of luck to the Tigers duo. The club's still defending them, which is good. Mm-hmm. Ashes shake up. So Perth will reportedly host this summer's Ashes series finale. I saw this. Instead of Sydney uh. as part of a scheduled shake-up for the upcoming 21-22 Ashes series in Traditionally, Australia. it ends after Sydney, just yep. early in the new year. It would be the first time since 95 that it hasn't been hosted in Sydney, the fifth test. Okay. So it means it would go Brisbane, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, and then Perth. Brisbane, Brisbane, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney, then Perth. Yeah, because... It used to go. It used to start in Perth, didn't it? Because you get them over on the Wacker Wicket and put the fear of God into them. I reckon it started in Brisbane. No, it always starts in Brisbane yeah. in November. Then it goes Perth. Then Perth, uh, traditionally, as I understand. But now, uh, of course, Optus Stadium is different to the Wacker. But uh, is that a demotion for Sydney? No, it'd just be a scheduling issue. It'll go back to normal. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. And Djokovic cracks the sads is the headline here. Oh. At the Italian <laughs> Open, he screamed at a chair umpire before walking off the court in an angry outburst. So he was playing a, a second round match against Taylor Fritz. Do you mean Taylor Swift? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she, she's on the Because you said draw. Taylor Fritz. Well, I did say you mean dogs. Joseph Fritzel. <laughs> <laughs> the schnitzel himself. Yeah. <laughs> so... <laughs> Djokovic thought it was raining a bit heavily. Of course, oh. he was up. Uh, he'd won the first set. In the second set, he was up 5-4 serving for the set. So mm. He was up a break, and then mm. he lost the service match. And here's what he said at the umpire. What's more, you want to play? <laughs> I'm, going, I'm going to check the court. I asked you three times. You're not checking anything. You, you didn't ask to I check did. the court. You, you said it yeah, was you when you're serving, but I, 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 I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Now it's getting harder. I'm going to check the court. Getting harder. Yeah, right. Oh. Oh. It only happens when it rains. <laughs> am I right? <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Marty Sheagold Show podcast. The Chemist Warehouse. Get big brand vitamins and cosmetics at half price right now. Terms and conditions apply. Chemist Warehouse. Great savings every day.